So how do you know if you're gaslighting yourself? That's what we're gonna talk about this week because gaslighting is a really toxic relationship behavior, but it's also something we can do to hurt ourselves. And I don't want that for you. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna talk about what does gaslighting yourself look like and what's one quick tool that's very powerful you can use today to stop doing that destructive behavior. Uh, first, my name's Michelle Ferris. I'm a psychotherapist and I love helping people create relationships that work. So what does gaslighting yourself even mean? It basically is when you're questioning your own reality and your own perceptions because you assume that they're wrong and you assume that what other people think is more important than what you think. So you tend in relationship to go along with what other people are saying about you versus having your own opinions and your own thoughts. And this often goes back to childhood. Now, if you're in relationship with someone who's doing this to you, Typically that is someone who may be narcissistic, uh, actively using, or someone who really avoids accountability. Because when we're being gaslit, the other person is blaming us and making us feel like we're the problem. And that's super unhealthy. Now, when we're doing it to ourselves, there's a lot of reasons for that. And the first is, is that one, we feel like we're not enough. Two, we've learned to dismiss our thoughts and feelings in childhood because this doesn't start in adulthood. This starts way, way earlier back. And three, sometimes people gaslight themselves because they want to control the abuse. So they hurt themselves before they give their partner a chance to hurt them. So how does gaslighting start? It basically starts in childhood where your caregivers don't validate your experience growing up. Say you were hurt at school or someone was bullying you and you came home and told your mom about it. And instead of your mom validating your feelings and comforting you, she actually made you feel bad. Or she said, you know what, that was silly. You shouldn't feel that way, you're being too sensitive. That is how gaslighting starts, by having your experience denied in childhood. Now, when this happens repeatedly over and over again, by the time you're an adult, you learn to do it for yourself. And you learn to attract that behavior in relationship, not because you want it, because it's incredibly hurtful, but it becomes familiar. So those people who are toxic, who are narcissistic, you don't recognize it as a bad behavior because you're already used to taking the blame. So in relationship, it's more of what you grew up with. And sometimes the devil we know is easier than the devil we don't know. And that's why gaslighting is so hard to get rid of. But what I wanna help you do is to recognize when you're doing that to yourself so that you can stop. Now, the other thing that happens in childhood is if you were a child that was the truth teller and you spotted dysfunctional behavior and you spoke about it, sometimes that really can threaten a family and they will try to shut us up. And that also really hurts our self-esteem because when we highlight a behavior like abuse or alcoholism or rage and it gets denied, that's even more damaging to our self-esteem because nobody's seeing our pain or nobody is addressing our trauma. And that really erodes a, a child's confidence and creates a lot of self-doubt. So in adult relationships, they will put up with abuse because they're used to it. And again, this doesn't make us bad or wrong. It just means that that's part of what we learned. And we have to have a lot of compassion for ourselves. So what does it mean to gaslight yourself? Here are some examples. One is telling yourself that what you say or what you do doesn't matter. It's also dismissing your thoughts, especially when someone else disagrees with them. Another example is feeling too responsible for a relationship because you're constantly being blamed that it's your fault rather than a relationship being about two people taking accountability for their own behavior. So how do you stop gaslighting yourself? What I want you to do is I want you to go back and find your truth because in childhood, your truth was denied. You did not learn to honor your own perceptions or to cultivate your intuition or to recognize those, those little feelings of fear or distrust or not being safe. You learn to ignore those because they weren't validated repeatedly for you. And that caused a lot of self-doubt. So here's one simple way to stop gaslighting yourself is I want you to discover what your truth is in your body because that's where your truth lives. 
Your body is gonna be a wealth of information to tell you what your experiences are. So for instance, when you're angry, usually there's body tension, right? Your, your jaw might get tight. Your shoulders might have a lot of tension. Uh, when there's fear, we usually feel it in our stomach. When we are feeling happy, there's usually a sense of joy that radiates out from our chest, okay? All of those give us really valuable information. So what I want you to do is I want you to pay attention to your body and just check in, like, where am I at right now? What am I feeling? If I'm around a certain person, how do I feel? Do I feel safe? What does safety feel like to you? Are you feeling afraid? because those feelings we have every minute of every day. The difference when we're gaslighting ourselves is that we don't honor them. And what I want you to do to honor them is to pay attention because again, your truth lives inside of you and it's subjective, which means that somebody else could disagree with it, but this is your truth and your truth can never be wrong. And the antidote to gaslighting yourself is to find your truth and to start honoring it because that's how you're gonna to start to set better boundaries, that's how you're gonna to start to recognize abusive behavior, and that's how you're gonna start feeling better about yourself. And that's what I want for you. So what I want you to do is I want you to tell me in the comments, how can you start recognizing your truth in your body? So the next thing I want you to do is hit subscribe because I would love it if you're part of my community. And go watch my video on stop abandoning yourself and building self-trust because that's gonna be your next step. Thanks so much.